Hi there, welcome back. Um, in the previous video we did a serialization of an empty graph. We had a new test uh, and if I run this everything is fine. So this is an empty graph that doesn't include any nodes. Um, I just noticed a few things I would like to address before moving on to serializing orphan nodes. Let me set this countdown. So the first thing is this print statement. Uh, so we're, we're using login, we're using a logger. So printing stuff like that doesn't make any sense. So I would just remove this, go to the serialize method, and use our logger. Now, debug, and I want to debug the data because I need it, right? Makes sense. But I don't want to print it to standard out every time I run the test. Just when I set the level to debug. And I probably need to announce this. So serializing. That's fine. Yeah. Graph. So that's that. If I run it, I still have my debug information there. But, but, but they have full control of what's going out to the standard route. So that's one thing. The other thing is this format, it, it will probably grow a little bit because we have nodes, which is a dictionary, that we have all the node serialization, and inside each item, probably we have the port serialization. So instead of logging the raw data, Data, which is what's happening here. I will use pretty print. So let me import pretty print. Pretty print. This is part of the standard library, so should be fine. So we're going to use pretty print dot pretty format and pass the data there. So that return like a pretty string that they can uh, print. So right now it looks the same, but as this uh, dictionary grows, you will have to break the dictionary down, which is fine. Cool. So that's one thing. The other thing is uh, notes. So notes being a dictionary is cool because we can get by name really easy. We can avoid uh, name collisions really easily. It's all kind of built in in the dictionary itself, in the type, so that's awesome, and that's why we choose it, but having to loop through all the nodes, when I loop, I don't want to remember that this is a dictionary, it feels weird, so what I'm going to do is select all the nodes and replace by underscore nodes, so underscore node, underscores, underscores no. that's fine, and then I'm going to create a property. So property called nodes. And the oh and this will return self dot underscore nodes dot values. So let me run the test. Oh it's fine. So basically I just, it's like a shortcut to not having to write this all the time. Right? So I still have the dictionary internally, have all the advantages, but I can like provide better interfaces to the user of this library. So that's good. So now let's, uh, we have time, so let's work on the orphan nodes so let me just copy all this stuff yeah everything center this cool so basically i create a graph i set a model and i want to create a few nodes so graph one dot add node this will be testing uh void oops node and the type of node would be digipy.void node. And the same, another node, and this time would be an add node. 
and the type will be at node. So we serialize that, and now we want in the graph two when we create it from data, we want to have the same number of nodes, but also we can do a for nodes one in graph one dot nodes. Uh, we can get an, the node two. So this is graph two dot get node, and this is node one dot name, and then we can test uh, that th this thing exists. So we pass node two here. And then we can test that node one dot model is equal to node two dot model, and that's for now. I don't want to get into the values because that imply going to ports, and that's trickier. So that will be for the next video. So let me try to run this, and of course we have an error saying two is not equal to zero. Uh, empty graph, what's this? Oh, we have to change this to orphan nodes or something. So let me run that, cool. So let's implement that and the first thing is uh, serialize the nodes. Right now it's just a dictionary. Actually, if I run test, you can see it here. So we are going to serialize the nodes. So the way to do it is for a node in self that nodes. So you can see how this property is kind of useful. Uh, I want to get the data nodes uh, node dot name this will be equal to node dot serialize so the node should know how to serialize itself uh, as it's more modular that's good and in from data well, let's do the serialize first. So let me go to the nodes. Yeah, so here we need a serialize, a serialize function. Oops, and this will be like the same data will be equals to a dictionary. And we need, well, what's here? It's the name, that makes sense. So this will be equal to self.name. You see, we have the model. This will be equal to self.model. You see, eval count, uh, it's a dynamic attribute, so we don't need to serialize it. The dirtiness is also dynamic, depends on the model, so we don't need to serialize it. We have input and output ports, so that's good. Input ports, and this will be equal to a dictionary for now. Uh, same for output ports, equal to a dictionary for now. And the other thing would be a class name, so the name of the class. And uh, this will be equal to type of self the down there name so that's the name of the class creating this instance so if all is good uh, we return the data this node should serialize itself so if I run the test you can see here uh, the new serialization data and actually the pretty print how it's breaking the dictionary nicely so we have nodes, a testing at node, a testing point node, uh, with all the parameters, so that's cool. But the test is failing because we are not creating the, the nodes. So 
let's just do that so from data here we need to create the node so for key and value yeah we can do it like this for the in for node in data dot nodes dot values because a dictionary and here basically we say graph dot add node and we pass a name so node dot name now this dot get this is a dictionary and then we pass the class uh, we don't have the class yet so the class will be equal to globals oh man globals dot get and we need the node uh, class name so that give me the, the class that add the node so node will be equal to that and then I can do node dot model equal to D model and this should be D from the data this is D this is D so let me run the test and everything's good so you can see it's serializing and it's actually creating the nodes from the serialization from the data from that dictionary so that's pretty much it uh, in the next video we're going to implement the serialization of ports and probably connections so yep see you in the next one bye bye